Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to archive here in Smartsheet. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Smartsheet, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Archiving in Smartsheet is an essential to keep your workspace organized while preserving historical data but let me tell you right now that smartsheet does not have a direct archive built-in feature all right it's not a native tool but there are several methods to archive your data including saving it locally or moving old sheets to separate folders or utilizing snapshots now in terms of the uh moving sheets to an archive folder all right, let me just go to the specific file that I'm going to work with. For example, this one, I'm going to click on it. Now, for example, this is the file that you're going to archive. All right. All you're going to do is go to the file on the upper left corner. I want you to click on the... Now, I want you to click on the save as new option. And from here... Rename the sheet that you wanted. For example, a duplicate. Duplicate of the uh, sheet. Alright. On the browse section, this is very important because we need to move this specific file to the archive. Alright. So that's one way for you to archive any sheet here in um, Smartsheet. When you click OK. Alright. So you would be able to, of course, share the option. If you want to retain the sharing, please do so by clicking on this button and also the automated workflow and alert options. All right. Now, if you don't want, just leave it as it is in terms of the data and formatting options. Since you're archiving this specific file, you might want to leave all that. Click on save and now the file will be sent back to the archive folder. All right. That's one way. As you can see, it, ha it, it has now been added to the archive folder all right of course you can do a lot of here you can also delete the workspace if you wanted that's one way now the other option is just go to the home page all right click the uh, plus button you can start a new project here on the left side panel of your dashboard or click this option it does not matter because from here we need to create an archive folder all right by doing so we're going to create an another workspace wherein we can put that specific um archive uh, files here in this section okay now for example let's rename it as archive uh two all right now from here you can put in you can add another worksheet all right you can choose a starting view and you see there's going to be an option for the folder all right we're going to put in archive folder click that now in this section you can create sheet report and import any files especially if you wanted to move the uh, specific file earlier you can do so by using the archive folder that we have created all right that's option two okay now the option three is gonna be now we're going to use a very technical um method using automation but don't worry because we can do it by using a an option for from creating here in template okay so what i wanted to do is i wanted to archive any status if it's already been um completed or for example this video creation has been completed i wanted to be archived already or the video thumbnails are done video uploading are done and then i'm gonna make it sure that the task is going to be archive all right go to automation and create from template don't worry because it's not really hard now don't be scared because this is not really difficult you have a lot of options for the popular templates but i want you to do is hover to a specific templo, uh, template for the workflow which is going to be moving or move a row to another sheet when specified criteria are met this is going to be that option click on it and just wait for it to load you see um 
it's a great way to use a this template because all they have to do is choose the trigger optional conditions and actions we're gonna click on the use template so we can do that now once you are here all they have to do is simple okay when rows are added or change click on this field and that's gonna be you select on the field and choose the project status okay and then the value is going to be put in complete if you don't have it so for example when rows are added or when the project status has been completed right click that you need to move this row to a specific uh, sheet if you click on this option right here search for the sheet and that's going to be archive press enter okay click that and now no you see when a project status has been completed you want to remove the row to the archive uh, folder right so that's uh, a, a lot of another way for you to archive video in smartsheet although it's not traditional yes but these are the workarounds for you to be able to compartmentalize the uh, files if you wanted to archive something here in Smartsheet. Once you've done that, all they're going to do is click on save. All right. I need you to navigate to the homepage and go to the browse section, which is going to be found here in the uh, left side panel of your dashboard. When you click on it, for example, you're working to a specific sheet and you wanted to archive this specific sheet here. All right. All they're going to do is uh, there's going to be an actions on the uh, drop down menu now it's like the same process earlier you need to save as new all right for example this is going to be a duplicate or a backup data all right backup now in save in you need to choose the browsing uh folder which is going to be the archive folder all right so that's that in the sharing option again you have all of these option for sharing if you wanted if you wanted to include the automated workflows and alerts you can even include the recipients and permission settings all right you also have the option to preserve destination or do not preserve it's all up to you all right in terms of the data and formatting options if you wanted to include all of these click on check but if you don't want you are welcome to do so all right and once you're happy with that click on save all right the idea is archiving allows you to keep a record of completed projects tasks or milestones all right for example since this has already been archived we might want to delete that as well or because we no longer need that and click on delete all right and this is going to be the way for you to archive here in smartsheet thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video